Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used the stamp sets. A painted Poppy and I used the infill stamp, the two Poppy stamps, the leaf and the splatter stamp. I also used Butterfly Wishes uh, for this sentiment. It was a perfect day because of you. I'm changing the sentiment. I've got on here time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you. So it's sort of the same thing, just changing the sentiment. Card stock. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, burnished, which we've already done. Two pieces of white at five and five eighths at three and seven eighths, one for the inside, one for the top. A piece a black basic black cardstock at three quarters of an inch by five inches and a piece of black and white striped don't matter which way this measures two and no one and a half by four and a quarter and this is out of um oh can't remember what it's called. Used to be my favourite stamp set last year. Can't remember. But it's got the black and white papers. It has a bird on it. But I can't remember what it's called with roses. So that's what we need. Right. I have already cut out my flowers, I've changed the colour, um, with the dies from the painted poppies. I used that die and that die, but for the leaf we have to fussy cut. I have already cut one, and I must have lost one because I did have two, so we will cut another one out. So we need some scrap and we need, and I'm changing it, oh, like I said, to Calypso Coral. I haven't used this colour for ages. So we will, with our infill, infill the colour, we will stamp that twice. We take leave that there because we still need that black and our poppies, and we will stamp them in the middle of them like that. Clean that in a minute, and the big one we will put over the other one. Now it doesn't colour it, can fill it in completely as you can see here. It's come off. You can be fussy like me and just get your stamp and stamp it in like I did there. Or you can leave it like that, which I did on this one. Yeah, where it never went in. And then you cut them out. Let's just clean these two stamps. Ooh. Right, that's on the floor. Pick that up later. That's nice and clean. Right, we get the leaf. I we'll only do one, but you need two. And then I will cut that one out shortly. Right. Now with a, oh, might as well use this bit, turn it round 
and we're going to stamp the sentiment. Didn't think that was straight, let's do it again. That's better. Makes cutting it out a little bit better, easier. Right. So we need to cut out the leaf and cut out the sentiment, and we'll finish with the black. Right, with a piece of the white and our splatter dots and our clips of coral, we are going to put these in each corner. That's all we're going to do with that. Clean that off. That with our scissors. We'll just cut this leaf out quickly. There's no colouring in with this leaf, it's just going to stay plain. I was going to say naked. Right. Just want to cut two leaves out when I prepared for the filming. Almost probably find it afterwards. That's that done. So, oh, got this to cut out. That's perfect. As I've already said, I've cut them out on my two leaves. So now what we'll do, we'll stick this card together. Stick this on the card base. Then we stick this black strip as straight as we can right down the middle of the card 
and this black stripe. to the left, no right. Like that. These need to have dimensionals on the back. And they are going to go something like that. Oh, this needs dimensionals on the back. And that's going to go under that bit there. That. So let's stick this big flower down first. In fact, no, I think we should stick the sentiment down first. So I know it fits. And I want to line that up with the edge of the top. Place that there, and this one will place there, and then of course we've got our leaves to add. Just place one either side of the flowers. going to add some gems on this one. Um, just three little glass gems. I'll put them on this one as well. I'm not going to put anything on the inside of this. On that one I did put congratulations as a celebrating. So there we have it. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And you can share it. You can share any of my cards, not bothered. Um, if you do like my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.